My name is Randy Frederick. I'm from Umatilla, Florida, and this is my 1991 uh, Toyota pickup named Two Ballistic. I built the truck was it was my buddy Tim Gilbert Todd Gilbert and my idea to rehash this truck that seemed to us that nobody had ever done to this extent make it an, a modern version of what he would have built what he would have built in 2023 and uh, it was just a dream the build took us a little over two years it would have been done sooner had it not been at a previous shop that really uh, destroyed the truck but uh, it's it is everything that I wanted it to be now, and I'm happy where it's at at the end. Uh, if it wasn't for my, my buddies Eric Fulber, Matt Reynolds, Nick Daly, Stephen Hansen, there, Chad Gill, I mean, there's Fred Hebron, there's a ton of people that are negative camber buddies that put time, blood, sweat, and tears into this truck, and it's amazing. The, the key features to me is the 1973 Porsche raspberry color, and the wheels had to be exactly like you know, the original but bigger. Um, the suspension's a two by three box tubing from the front back. It's airbags front and rear. It's a body drop two and a quarter inches. Uh, it's got Chad Chris air management. It's got Belltech drop spindles. It's got little shop uh, big brakes up front, six piston and single piston rear little shop in the back. Uh, nothing has been untouched on this truck. The whole frame from front to rear has been powder coated from Mount Airy coatings. I mean, it, it, there's not been one bolt not touched on this truck. The wheels started out as a dream, you know, because billet wheels are so expensive. I sent Colorado Custom a NOS uh, Ron All wheel. I said, it's got to be exact. If I'm going to spend this kind of money, it's got to be exactly the same. There's no doubt, you know, that's a Ron All R9, but made in billet. It, it, like I said, it is the wheels and the paint make the truck match Pat Nichols Ballistic. What, what makes this truck a newer version, obviously the wheels are not 15 inch, they're 18s. It's got four wheel disc brakes, Pat's didn't have that. This has a full leather interior, Pat's didn't have that. I, I tried to modernize what he would have done had he built it now, rather than in 1993. I brought the old school audio because it's something that when I was in 1993, I couldn't afford what I can afford now. So I hunted all of that kicker audio equipment down. The whole idea of the kicker, I, we have a buddy in kicker and I said, hey, I'm building this truck. I said, can you look at the amps? I wanna make sure that everything works because I wanna make sure everything works as it should. And he goes, that's something that we might want in SEMA. I said, cool, sent the amps back and then they ended up sponsoring me by sending, you know, uh, wiring, fusing, and looking at the amps for free. I mean, it, it's, it's a dream build come true that I couldn't replicate. And, and a lot of the parts on the truck are from Toyota OEM factory. I think factory fits the best. The only thing that's aftermarket on this truck is the front grill and the lower valance. Everything else is factory OEM, brand new, rubber seals, gaskets, taillights, door handles, bumper, you know, bumper lights, everything that I could possibly buy, factory OEM I bought. The hardest part about building this, to be honest with you, is getting screwed by another shop. I mean, I'm just gonna call it like it is. That's because it put us back to a year and I had to fix everything that they really butchered, to be honest with you. Um, that's the hardest part, but the best part, to be honest with you, is having the friends that went out of their way, worked weekends. They did this stuff on their own time. They didn't have a shop. They do this as fun. You know, and, and like I said, Eric Fulber, uh, Nick Daly, Fred Hebron, Stephen Hansen, Chad Gill, uh, Paul Davis, those guys, they do it for fun and they're club members and, and those guys would give the shirt off your back. And to me, that's the most rewarding part is those guys getting their kudos for doing the work. 
if I, if I was to do it over again, I wouldn't because the, the time and energy to find the, a lot of this NOS parts and the OEM parts, you can't buy those parts anymore. They're getting harder and harder to find and then you have to just deal with cheap imitations. And to me, the factory did it best. That's what I would want. So I wouldn't do this build again because everything on this thing is so hard to find. I always thought to recreate the truck, why not recreate the cover? Might be a different magazine, right? But to me, it's special because my daughter is the actual model in the photo shoot. And it, it's something that when I'm gone and passed, my daughter will have memories forever. It, it's special to me because it's a dream truck. It's, my it's, goals with the truck are to show it you know, to, to get the kudos for the guys that built the truck and did all the hard work. It's not for sale, but everything's for sale, right, for the right price. Um, my goal now is we're going to Cruising with Cruisers in Kentucky on October 13th, and then you can find it at SEMA 2023 in Kicker's Booth and in the North Hall. And then from there, it's LST, Battle at Bama, East Tennessee Showdown, obviously South Min Southeastern Mini Truck Nats. Um, I don't have any plans on selling it. It's, it's, a, it's a dream build. Definitely not a, a daily driver, that's for sure, but it, it's, it's a truck that I will cherish for a long, long time. If people want to see more info or tags on, on, uh, on the truck, it's two underscore ballistic on Instagram or BO, uh, bow to NC on Instagram or my name on Facebook, Randy Frederick. Uh, like I said, it, it's something to watch for, that's for sure. Uh, the only thing I'd like to add would, I'd have to thank my beautiful wife, Sarah. You know, I gotta, without her, 31 years, I gotta say that, right? If not, I'm in trouble. <laughs> and then thanks for my kid, you know. I don't know where she came from, but that's my child and I'll stick to that. She's beautiful. Um, I, I'm just so excited to see it on the cover of Street Trucks and I can't wait. Hopefully she'll be on the cover. It'll be awesome. It'll be something that I'll cherish forever, more so than just, just the truck. And the, and the friends that I've, I've made before and after, you, you can't put a price on that.